So let's go on to the next segment of our show, which is called the rapid fire round. Okay. Right. So here's my first question. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not scary. So, uh, so here's the first question. Uh, coffee or chat GPT or chat GPT equivalent? What is your morning inspiration? Oh, my gosh. Uh, that's a good one. OK, well, I love my morning routine. Coffee starts with coffee, meditation, walking the dog making my daughter's breakfast and then at 8 a.m uh yeah i might open up uh, you said chat gpt i i'm a claude person i'll open up claude from anthropic and use it as uh almost like a co-pilot so coffee then claude c and c oh wonderful that's like that like that but uh as to everybody who's listening in i want i want to underline one thing that paul said it start with a very you know human centric view so you know coffee you know breakfast for the for the for the children for the family uh, morning walk and these are extremely extremely important in an ai mad world so thank you paul this is this is great this is great for anybody listening in all right so moving on to the second one what is the one ai myth that you would debunk forever oh my gosh these are so good um you know what it's almost building off uh, what we talked about a minute or two ago ai will not make it so that we all get Fridays off and get, get a three day work week. No, you know, it, AI just is going to accelerate the intensity of competitive pressure. We're all going to work just as hard. Well, we might get more done. It'll be more interesting. It'll be different. There might be a new set of winners and losers, but sorry, everybody, you still are going to have to work on Fridays. I, I hear so many people at different panels or yeah. stuff say, oh, yeah, it's going to get a half day off no way no how i wish i wish not gonna happen yeah so be, be prepared to keep working hard as you are but at the same time reskill and start doing maybe other things great great message paul all right the third one what is the most overrated tech buzzword Ooh, there's a lot to choose from uh you know what uh i'll be a little uh, fun here and say gen ai only because, uh, you know, think of like Gen AI as the steam engine that opens opened the door to the industrial revolution and that we're in like year two or three of the invention after that. And everybody sees what's coming and no one knows exactly how just yet. And people are still doing, you know, some of the same methods that they were, but with spurts of this new approach that Gen AI allowed 